Determine the missing coordinate in the ordered pair. Example 1. Consider the following equation. x minus 2y equals 15. Step 1. Determine the missing coordinate in the ordered pair. Negative 1, comma, question mark. So that it will satisfy the given equation. So the first thing we need to know is what value is that negative 1 in the ordered pair? Since it's the first number in the ordered pair, it's going to be our x. And so what we're going to do is we're going to substitute in negative 1 in for our x. So I'm going to do that now. And now I'm going to solve this like a two-step equation. So I need to move that negative 1. I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And then I'm going to bring down my negative 2y. That's going to equal 16 because 15 plus 1 is equal to 16. My last step here is since negative 2 and y are being multiplied, we're going to undo the multiplication by dividing. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 2. And we're going to get y equals negative 8 because 16 divided by negative 2 is equal to negative 8. So the missing coordinate would be negative 8 for the y. And to write it as an ordered pair, it'd be negative 1 comma negative 8. Example 2, consider the following equation. x minus 2y equals 15. Step one, determine the missing coordinate in the ordered pair, question mark, comma, negative four, so that it will satisfy the given equation. So first thing we need to do is to determine what variable is that negative four, and that would be our y value. So we're going to substitute in negative four for our y, and that's going to look like this. Then I'm going to simplify that equation. We got a negative two times negative four, which is going to give me a positive eight. So I've x plus 8 equals 15. Now to solve this equation I got to move my positive 8 so I'm going to subtract 8 on both sides and 15 minus 8 is going to give me 7 so x equals 7 so that's going to be my missing coordinate for the ordered pair and to write it as an ordered pair since x is equal to 7 and that's my first number it would be 7 comma negative 4. Example 3 consider the equation in the following ordered pairs we have negative 4 comma y and x comma 2. And then we have the equation 4x plus 2y equals 4. Step 1, we're going to compute the mix, missing x and y values so that each ordered pair will satisfy the given equation. So I'm going to start with my first ordered pair, the negative 4 comma y. So here, that negative 4 is my x. So I'm going to substitute in negative 4 for my x. And that's going to look like this. 4 times negative 4 is negative 16. So I have negative 16 plus 2y equals 4. Then I need to move my minus 16 or the negative 16. I'm going to add 16 on both sides. So that I'm left with 2y equals 20 because 4 plus 16 is 20. My last step here is since 2 and y are being multiplied, I'm going to divide by 2 on both sides. 20 divided by 2 is 10. So my missing coordinate for negative 4 comma y would be y equals 10. So I'm going to put that in my table there for with my negative 4 as my x. Next, I'm going to look at the next coordinate. I have 4x plus 2y equals 4. Here I'm giving the 2 as the y value. So I'm going to substitute in 2 for my y. And I'm going to have 4x plus 4 equals 4. My next step here is I'm going to have a positive 4. So I'm going to subtract 4 on both sides. I'm going to have 4x equal to 0. 4 and x are being multiplied, so undo, to undo multiplication, I'm going to divide by 4 on both sides. So that's going to give me x equal to 0. 0 divided by 4 is 0. So that's going to go in my blank spot on my table where x is. So my coordinates are going to be negative 4, 10 for my first ordered pair, and then 0, 2 for my second ordered pair. Step number 2, we're actually going to plot the resulting set of ordered pairs using your answers from step one. So our first coordinate is going to be negative four comma ten and I'm going to put a blue dot where that's located. So I go to negative four on my x-axis and then I go up to ten on my y-axis. So the blue dot's going to end up right there. And then for my second point, zero comma two, I'm going to put a red dot where that's located. So it's not going to be on my x-axis at all because it's zero and then it's going to go up 2 on my y-axis and so that's going to be where it's located for that point on the coordinate plane. Example 4, consider the following equation x plus 2y equals 5. Step 1, determine if the given ordered pair 5 comma 0 satisfies the given equation. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to substitute in each of my numbers, the 5 and the 0, the 5 for the x and the 0 for the y 
and see does when I substitute in that order pair does it give me 5 does it satisfy the equation so I'm going to do that now so then I have 5 plus 2 times 0 equals 5 5 plus 2 times 0 is going to give me 5 so 5 equals 5 so yes 5 comma 0 does satisfy the given equation I'm going to do the same equation but this time I'm given a different order pair negative 3 comma 3 so I'm going to do the same thing I have a negative 3 for my x and a 3 for my y so I'm going to substitute those in and I'm going to simplify it down to see does that give me does that satisfy and give me 5 when I actually do the the arithmetic so negative 3 plus 2 times 3 that's going to give me negative 3 plus 6 equals 5 and then negative 3 plus 6 that gives me 3 3 does not equal 5 so therefore negative 3 comma 3 does not satisfy the given equation